Two-time NCAA champion at 184 pounds, Gabe Dean of Cornell. And after Gabe gets a, a drink of water, say you're ready. We'll let you make a quick opening statement about your match, and then we'll throw it out to questions. Guys, remember to identify yourselves uh, when you ask your questions. Uh, Gabe, go right ahead whenever you're ready. No hurry. Okay. I can drink it today, so. <laughs> uh, no, no more scales. All right, <laughs> uh, go ahead. You go right ahead and just make a statement. Oh, I have a statement. Uh, you know, athletic, big, strong kid. Um, some history there. Kept getting to his leg, but he uh, obviously did his homework a little bit. Kept getting out of that position and uh, fought hard there. And um, you know, credit to him. He's a he's a great wrestler. Okay, questions right up front first. Okay. Zeb Miller, Flo Russell, Go Ohio Cass. Uh, Rob Cole said that if we have 20% of the NCAA champions on our team, I'm going to be pretty fired up after Brian, you know, went down. What's to say about your program that, you know, you guys got 20%, two out of the 10 champs. What's to say about Cornell Wrestling and, and how fired up are you right now? I'm really fired up, actually. I'm containing myself because uh, I have to be professional. But, uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Man, what, from where we started to where we are now um, as a group, um, I remember coming into Cornell when I was a kid, um, getting the crap kicked out of me every day by Cam Simons. Oh, and uh, I guess it's nice to be on the other end of that now and uh, not getting my head shoved into the bleachers every day. But uh, the point was, um, you know, these kids, it, not just me, but my whole class, they kept coming back and uh, have, didn't take no for an answer. And you know what? We didn't have a perfect NCAA tournament, but you know we got a lot of fighters on our team and a lot of support, and um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Right here. Dave, Keith Ratty, ESPN Ethica. You're shooting for that, that single leg when you, when you kept, kept losing them time and time again. Were you thinking, oh, you know, i got to pull out something here, he might, he might get me. What were you thinking when you kept, kept missing that leg? Well, uh, <clears throat> get back to the leg, you know, just keep coming back. He come back to the lake. Um, he felt, you know, I almost felt like he wanted to toss me or throw me there. So I had to kind of be somewhat calm in that position, not try to rush anything. Um, like I said, a big athletic kid and strong wrestler, and um, he was prepared for that for that position. I'm sure since we wrestled earlier this year. So uh, you know, credit to him and his coaching staff for preparing. Kyle, Kyle Klingman with a win. Are you glad football didn't work out? Yeah, I suppose so, actually. I, uh, I always joke that I'm a football player that's just trying out this wrestling thing, but um, uh, I guess I'm a wrestler that was a former football player now. But uh, I love football, um, and when one door closes, another one opens. And um, that door closed on me after I had my experience with Georgia Tech, and uh, Cornell opened, and uh, you know what? I can't imagine my life being any other way than it is right now. Gary? Uh, Gary Abbott, USA Wrestling. Um, Gabe, uh, are you going to go to the Olympic Trials? Will you take a break? Will you wrestle freestyle or Greco or both? Uh, what's your plans in that area? Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty inexperienced Greco, really inexperienced Greco. I trained for two weeks before that Chile experience, and that's pretty much all the Greco I've done in my life. And then uh, freestyle, I'm still really inexperienced, but thankfully, um, Cornell has their RTC program where I can train with guys like Kyle Dake and Enoch, Francois, and these kind of guys. So um, I'm really just going to go with the flow here. I will do whatever my coaching staff wishes me to do. And um, I'm almost at this point right now more uh, going to really enjoy this moment with my family and my uh, friends and my, my support system because they're a huge reason why I was able to do what I do, and um, I will go from there. <laughs> Eddie? Eddie Goldman, No Holds Barred, congratulations. When you look back on the decision to focus on wrestling instead of football, aside from obviously the great success you've had in it, looking back on it, how much does it affect you now knowing what we now know about football and concussions and head trauma and, and issues like that? Uh, you know, I've never really been, I'm sure I've had, I'm sure 
I've been uh, hit pretty good a couple times. I mean, I know I have. Um, but I think football, what it did for me as a quarterback anyways, it helped me, um, you know, deal with a lot of pressure. You know, a quarterback position in football is a lot like just two guys out there wrestling. You know, you got to command the whole team and try to get them to all work together to, you know, win a football game and score points. So, um, but the thing I liked about wrestling the most is it's a sport where you can control your own destiny at the end of the day. So wrestling is a sport where it's really on you when you walk off the mat, whether you won or lost or you didn't do a couple things that you didn't want to win. And football, you got to rely on those other guys. So I think football helped prepare me a lot mentally. Um, but uh, I love wrestling because you control your own destiny. Okay, one final question right there. Keith Rowdy, ESPN, go. Jumped into Damian Hahn's arms. What did you say to him? What did he say to you? And what does he mean to you? Just said I love you, man. Uh, Damian is he's a special, special person in my life. Uh, kind of like a second father. Um, I'm trying not to get emotional because he's uh, he's a very, very special human being, and his family. Um, they're like parents that I, um, the second parents to me. Um, without him, I would not be sitting in front of you guys right now, and I would not be sitting in front of you guys last year, and I would, I don't even know if I would be at this tournament. So, I can't say enough about the man. I don't even have words to describe our relationship. Um, I just, I just love him to death, and I would uh, give my own life for that guy. Gabe, congratulations again. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank Gabe you. Dean, two-time NCAA champion at 184 from Cornell. Thank you, guys.